the Bible says in that he died for all that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves but unto him which died for them and rose again the Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians that before you came to Christ, before you were saved, before you received the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you were dead in trespasses and sins. And when Jesus Christ, who is eternal life, entered into your body at the moment of salvation, when that quickening spirit came to you, the Bible says you were made alive in Christ. You became a new creature in Christ. So are you alive today or are you dead? If you're alive today, you're alive because Jesus Christ died for your sins. If you're alive today, you're alive because Jesus Christ tasted death for you. The question then is, who are you living for today? Are you living for yourself? Or are you living for the one who gave you this life? If you were dead in your own strength and dead in your own trespasses and dead in your own sins, then the life you have now is not yours. The best you could muster up was a hole in the ground what Jesus Christ gave you is eternal life. Paul would say, the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. He knew that he was alive because of Jesus Christ. And he tells us in Colossians chapter 3 that your life is hid with Christ in God. The life you live right now is not your life to live. It is Christ's life living through you. So who are you living for? Yourself or the one that died for you and rose again to give you the life you enjoy now and will enjoy in the hereafter? The Bible tells us of a day when there will not be natural affection, when people will not be reciprocating the right love to those who died for them. And today I hope you have enough natural affection for the Savior who died for you and rose again for you that you would choose you this day to live for him.